Saubona and welcome to South Africa. In cooperation with South Africa Tourism, I will show you the region of KwaZulu-Natal together with my friend Marco here. In this episode, we will experience some thrilling activities in Durban. We will discover the wild side of South Africa and we will embark on a three-day hike through the beautiful Drakensberg Mountains. Sounds like a fun trip, so let's do this. And we start things off in the sunny city of Durban. I'm here with my local guide, Tommy, who will guide us around for the day. Tamsad, come, go, go. Welcome to the city of Durban, KwaZulu Natal. We're gonna take a ride on a helicopter, Kim Shelele. South Africa's warmest city is located on the east coast and has a population of about three and a half million in the metropolitan area. Durban is famous for being the busiest port in the country. It is also seen as one of the major centers of tourism because of the city's warm subtropical climate and extensive beaches. Next on our list was the up-and-coming neighborhood around the station drive. This will be the things that you'll find in Durban, the arts, the design that you'll find. Uh, different people, uh, or local people will uh, just do the art uh, on the walls. It's very common. Besides that, we've got a lot of uh, different coffee areas, art galleries. Uh, you get a lot of different things in one area. We made it to the Moses Mavida Stadium, which was built for the World Cup in 2010. And we are here to do the big rush, the world's tallest swing. Let's go. Three, two, one, step. How was it, Steve? Man, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 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 back. It's good to be back. So it is very I guess good to be back. We, we should stay on ground from now on. If you are in Durban, you also need to check out the beach, and this is why we're here on a little Segway tour along the coast. Quite a relaxed way to do that, actually. It feels more sexy than it looks like. After a day of adventure, it is time for another cool experience. So we came to Tami's home. Tamsang. In... <laughs> yeah. This is his real name. And we're now in Kwamashu. This is the township where he grew up. And here we will have dinner and walk around a little bit. Before we got to eat, Tami and his sister gave us some insights on the life of the local Zulu people and their traditions. An experience I can highly recommend. Sweet potatoes, spinach, and there is all the meat, steamed bread right here. Oh man, we're in for a feast. It is nighttime in Durban, and after having a really big dinner, yes. we're now exploring the nightlife. We're gonna go for some drinks in a place called Dropkick Murphy's. Dropkick Murphy's. Let's have some drinks. This is beer o'clock. It's always beer o'clock. <laughs> On the next morning, we hit the road and drove about three hours northeast to the Schluschluwe Game Reserve. So we just drove into the Schluschluwe and look what we see just right after we entered. Some zebras here. Hi guys! Our base inside the park was the hilltop camp, which overlooks the reserve. And from here you can actually spot some of the animals, but to increase our chances, we'll go on some game drives and game walks. So let's go and spot. First game drive. It's an afternoon game drive. Marco, are you ready? Marco Very wants to see ready. some rhinos. Yes. Beside sure. this one. The Schluschluwe im Fulossi Park is the oldest proclaimed nature reserve in Africa. 
It consists of 960 square kilometers of hilly topography and is known for its rich wildlife and conservation efforts. The park is the only state-run park in KwaZulu-Natal where each of the big five game animals can be found. In just a short amount of time, also we were able to see four out of the big five on our first game drive. We stay in these beautiful chalets or huts, I don't know. Come on in, guys. Bedroom number one, bathroom number one. Whoop. <laughs> then we have this open space here where we can hang out, relax, even a kitchen, which we probably never use. Bedroom number two, bathroom number two, but the best part of it, this is why it's called the Hilltop Camp, where we hang out, enjoy the view. Ah. Incredible. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and we are on a morning walking safari because dusk and dawn are the best times to see the animals out here. So let's see if we are lucky. A game walk with an experienced ranger is a great chance to get up close and learn more about the animals. Shlushuwe is the birthplace of rhino preservation, breeding the species back from extinction. As the home of Operation Rhino in the 50s and 60s, the park became world-renowned for its white rhino conservation. After a six-hour drive from Shlushuwe, we arrived at the Drakensberg Mountains. Good morning from the beautiful cabin resort, which many use as their base to explore the Drakensberg Mountains for day hikes. We will use it as our starting point for a proper three-day trekking adventure to the amphitheater and the second highest waterfalls in the world. Today we only have about 13 kilometers. I'm here with our guide Sipon. What are we about to do today? Okay, we're staying here at the Kevin Peck Resort and then we'll go, we'll go up all the way to the, to the ridge and then to the top and across the ridge and then all the way to Vetisuk uh, Resort. That's where I'm going to leave you guys. It takes about uh, 13 kilometers to get there and 6 hours. Alright, up we go! We made it to the first viewpoint. How are you feeling, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess. So we made it from 1,500 meters down there is the cavern, somewhere there, and up here is the sugar love. There. Only another two and a half hours to go, and we can already see the Amphitheater and the Sentinel Peak over there. This is where we're heading tomorrow. What a beautiful rock face that is. After five hours of hiking, we arrived at the Witzisuk Mountain Lodge, which has a beautiful view to the amphitheater and the Sentinel over there. And this is also our base for the next two days. So tomorrow we'll head up there to see the amphitheater and the waterfall and now it's time to relax and charge up the batteries. Good morning, it is day number two in our trek. We are right next to the Sentinel and today we are having the most eventful day of our hike. We're going up about, we have a 700 meter ascent it's about seven hours. We go over chain ladders along the ridge and we will see the amphitheater and the famous waterfall. Yeah. Are you ready? So ready. This is our guide, Samson over there. He will take us today. <laughs> at the fun part. These are the chain ladders which lead up to basically to the top where you see this amphitheater. Marco is gonna going to tackle it now. Okay Marco, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So, we made it over the chain ladders. Now it's only 20 minutes left to the viewpoint where we can see the amphitheater and the world famous waterfalls, which are the second highest actually. I hope these clouds clear a little bit. What the fuck? We hiked all the way up here, seven kilometers today. We tackled the chain ladders to see this. The Tugela Falls, second highest waterfalls in the world. Incredible. Well, sometimes you win and sometimes the others win. <laughs> Maybe you, you get more lucky when you hike up here, but this is just how it is sometimes. We had a good hike so far. We had some incredible views on the way and it was definitely still worth it coming all the way up here. And we did a little Google image search and this is the actual view you have when you are more lucky than us. The good thing about this part of the track is you have 4G. <laughs> bit foggy and wet at the end, but now we made it and we have our well-deserved beer to day two. Cheers. Good morning, it is day number three. We're gonna go down back to the valley to the Mahai campsite today. It's about 11 kilometers of hiking. It's only downwards. We're crisscrossing the river Mahai and we'll see some waterfalls. Should be nice. We're not that lucky today, it's still foggy in here, but we can see the Mahai Falls. And if you're here on a clear day, you can actually see the falls, and in the back you see the amphitheater and the sentinel, which would make up for a good photo. Not today though, it's still very nice here. There, this is over there are the Guru Falls, and this is where we're going. Royal Natal having a little pit stop here, and then we're there. Finish of our three day hiking trek. And we are back at the Cavern Resort in the pool, which is the perfect way to finish this trip through the region of KwaZulu Natal. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for new travel videos every Thursday. Also check out Marco's channel and the travel guide he wrote on the blog. That's it, I hope to see you next week. Bye!